basically what I've been asked to do is go tight on a curved hook with the abdomen of the, the ant round the bend and have to use a, like a UV resin uh, with a quill rib. Uh, basically a, a fiery brown type coloured red ant. So this is the pattern and it has to be a parachute with a white post. So anyway this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use a, this is a orange uni AO. The hook I'm using is a size 16, which is the size of an tie. It's, it's basically a light, a light uh, buzzer hook or curved hook, which is nice and strong and light as well. So, but what I've got to do is build up the abdomen at the back, and what I'm going to do is start centre of the hook, and then I'm going to work my thread down. And the way down, I'm going to tie in. This is stripped quill. This is just a peacock quill stripped. It's been dyed a brown, which has made it obviously a bit darker. Now, I'm just going to work my way around. Now, what was, uh, what was asked was to make sure that the abdomen basically sits in the water, I mean below the surface, just below it. it. seems to be this is what triggers the fish and gives the, the shape. And you're going to get this anyway once you use a resin, it's going to dip it below the surface. And obviously the parachute hackle is going to support that. Then what you've got to do is build up a small abdomen. Just think of a an ant type shape. So I'm going to go down, stop short, come back up, and carry on a wee bit, which is going to again taper to that side, and carry on, stop again, just continue. Look at the shape that you're forming. Do you're happy? Now when you use the resin you're going to exaggerate this shape so you don't have to get exactly the size. You want to make it trans uh, transparent as well obviously. And then I'm going to carry on up to this point here. Just maybe if you stop in line with the point of the hook. Now to make this sit, I'm going to the side that's going to be touching the hook, which is the underside here, I'm just going to touch it with some super glue because you're not rubbing this to hold it together this is rubbing it for colour and the resin will hold it get it started so I'm just going to flatten it with my nail and then rub this this body because of the shape it's lightly it will slip so that's why I'm using the super glue so that it sticks instant like and this point I'm just going to touch in with the turns of my wheel I'll go back, I'll just slightly rub it so there's a bit of the thread showing through to this point and then we can tie it off I'm going to tie the thread off at this point, just take it away and then we're going to form our abdomen with the, the resin so just make sure it's dry though before you put the resin on I'm just using a light resin. Now I'm going to do the top part first to encourage the shape. On the top. Down here you can build it up, you see. Get your torch. Just this get the set. Come underneath. Take a quick look. If you're happy with the shape, set it. You know, so you can encourage that shape a bit more. It's all the way around here. Set the tapers towards the back and towards the centre. So once you're happy with the shape, you can then completely set the resin all the way around. And then what I like to do is coat it with, with varnish. So we quick look at the shape. You can enhance it, it basically magnifies the body. Uh, you can see the quill a lot better and the colour. All the way around. And I say all we have to do is uh, I'm using a light varnish. This is a vineyard varnish. And just coat the whole whole body. And slightly onto the actual shank 
all the way around and then we allow that to dry now once the bodies are dry, now I've got, you can see there, I've got three or four tied we can start putting on the parachute hackles and the wing now the wing, you could, so you could use many posts or many fibres to, to help support the hackle I'm just going to use a white antron, this is a or a yarn, multi yarn, this one here number 16 so using the same thread, the hot orange or uni 80 down with the thread, which is a layer of thread there. Remove the base piece. Now, don't get too close. You want to sort of like put the wing central to the the fly to help support it a bit better, especially this body. This body is going to sit in the surface. You know, basically, that's that's how the terrestrial and the ant does. Uh, so it's a wee bit deeper at the back with the weight of the fly and the fish like that. Now. Obviously, the, you need the parachute to help support that. Got the antron, white antron. It's quite simple. Just what I like to do is bring it from the under, under the shank, hold the ends. You're looking around about an inch or so, and then I, I bring the thread to the front, catching it to the back, and then I bring it round like posting. A couple of zigzags with the thread, and that there locks it in. Keeps it on top. And there's not a lot of bulk in that. If you get a wee bit of white through, showing, showing through like that, you can darken it down with a permanent marker, which I like to do just to make it disappear. You can see, there you go. Very easy. Or you can put a few more turns in, but I don't want too many, too many of the turns here. Now, hackle, I'm going to use a this fiery brown. This is a, a genetic cock hackle, which is really good. You could use, saddles are perfect for doing parachute flies but you can use up these necks now just get a fluff away bear the stem just offer it to the back of the hook now you want some of the stem to be posted up into the wing so keep the bare stem not you don't want fibre so you just catch that at the back and then you just run the thread up four, four or five turns come back down bring the thread to the back I like to Keep the thread nice and tight, and you can break this away. Now I'm going to put a tiny bit of dubbing in. Dubbing could be anything really. It's obviously something similar to the colour that you're tying. Obviously this. It's a fiery brown colour here. This is the fiery brown SLF I'm using. I can catch a tiny bit. Just a wee drop onto the thread. Run it up. You're small. The form in the front, the thorax part of the, the fly and then bring your thread to the front and you want to wind your hackle one turn next one should be underneath that and again until you get enough hackle there you should find you can follow around with the thread or shall I add the quickest way for me is just to pull back the fibres out of the way I usually hold the tip of the hackle with my finger on my left hand and then come in Tie it as tight as you can, and then you can trim this away. I've always this always did me well. It's never had any issue with that. Tidy up with a tiny bit of dubbing at the front. Same dubbing. Don't put too much on. Make sure it's nice and tight. Again, just take the dubbing straight down to the bottom and then come in. And then just form a small head with the dubbing. Tighten it up if you need to. Take your time. Get it to sit the way you want. Tidy the head area up. I'm going to put a wee bit of varnish on my thread. Then I'm going to put it finished just about. 10 mil from the, the eye, don't go any further than that. Hold any fibres that maybe want to go over the eye, take them back. You're not going to be perfect, you're going to catch the odd one. If you do catch one, you can always trim them away. And then you just flatten the, the hackle back down, just press it. 
your finger bring it back to where it should be now what you can do is put a tiny bit of varnish just in at the root here and that will help protect the, the hackle stop it unraveling but see I've not had any issues with it so it should be ok the length, start it, don't be too short with the, the post you can always trim it down if you need to and there we go, straight cut does and there you go, that's the small ant pattern uh, it's not my it's not my dressing. This is uh, I basically was asked if I could tie something like this, and it seems to be very popular. Obviously, in this colour, obviously black, uh, does extremely well. But you were looking for a nice red ant type colour. This is a is a good one. <laughs> 